Well, 17 News is your local election headquarters, and 17's Moses Small now has the latest on the Arvin mayoral race. Moses? Thank you, Tammy. Arvin is watching a possible upset in his mayoral race as city council member Olivia Trujillo leads incumbent Jose Garola right now. And so let's take a look at this race. Trujillo is sweeping 58% of the votes so far, edging over Garola by 207 votes. Arvin is Kern County's fifth largest city with just over 20,000 people. And the city's municipal website says over 92% of Arvin residents are Hispanic or Latino. If Trujillo wins, she will be the city's first immigrant Latina mayor. I'm also a proud daughter of farm workers. And growing up here, knowing the needs of the community, knowing everything that we face on a daily basis, is something I confront every day. Public safety, number one, top of the list. Streets that will be handled with the measure L money. And uh, the parks have been abandoned. Guess what? We have no youth programs here. That's huge in my heart. Trujillo wants to hire more police officers from within the community to keep Arvin safer. Using money from an existing tax called Measure L to give officers their first raise in eight years. Trujillo also wants the oil industry to move away from residential and commercial spaces to prevent water pollution. She says contaminated water gave her breast cancer. She's been in remission for years. She says her background as a Mexican immigrant helps her identify with the community. And Trujillo has lived in Arvin for over 50 years. There are still thousands of votes to be counted in Arvin's mayoral race, but for now, Trujillo thinks she has won. In the newsroom, Moses Small, 17 News.